Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with our Realistic series. This is something that I do like to do. We asked the fellas from the, uh, from, from the sawmill to come here. I'm not going to use lightsabers. Um, we have a giant chainsaw right here. Let's, let's try the big chainsaw. Okay. Right. A big chainsaw now. So if I press Alt, I can do that. There. I just paid 1,100 to have the people from the sawmill come along and take that tree out. Which was needed. We couldn't get in and out of the field properly. So I don't... I have no regrets on that matter, on that front. I have no regrets at all. Uh, that we will deal with in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on here. I'm just going to back you up. Look, see? Wrong side. If that tractor... I mean, yeah, if the tractor came up to us the other way round, it would be absolutely fine. But the tractor's not approaching us the other way round. The tractor would be approaching us this way round. And this is specifically base game, as is the harvester. And it's base game for potatoes. So you would think that it would be made to fit the actual potato harvester. It, it, it makes no sense that it doesn't fit. It's going to bug me forever, this is. Uh, this is going to be one of those things that just bugs me continuously throughout. Okay, let's start you up again. And now that I've gotten rid of that tree, well, not me personally, now that the chaps from Sawmill have come along and gotten rid of that tree for us, that, that was very good of them, I, I, I felt. Uh, I thought that they were pretty quick on that one. It's a bit of an emergency there, and, and they were really quick to come along and, and help us out. Feel credit where it's due. They, they deserve praise for that. Uh, we can go off on our second jaunt around the fields. The third time around the field, I'm hoping that I will be able to turn this beast around and we go the other way, because then the tractor should be able to come up to us with the trailer and then unload us as, as we work. That, that's definitely going to make life a little bit easier for us. Uh, once I get... You know, I'm just going to go on around and do uh, another round on the field a minute. And uh, this time, I might actually be able to get right down to the bottom corner before I have completely filled this thing up. Once I get down there, um, if I can pick a little bit more space for us, then we can allow the tractor to move into the field a bit, and we can get our lorry over here, and then we can start doing some stuff with that one, because at the moment, the lorry is away from here, and we've got nothing in the trailer. We've got one trailer load with the tractor, but we've got nowhere else that we can put more tatey posts, because this one is just about full. And we're desperately going to need more Tatey Po space. Yeah, we've got plenty of room here in, in this machine at the moment. So if I bring that one over to there and I'll lift that up. Although, that being said, with the potato harvester, I've noticed that once you... And it's the same with the toad ones. I don't know if the sugar beet harvester is the same. But you start digging and the potatoes start that they don't actually start going into the tank for quite a while so then you can end up with potatoes that you dig like if i was to just dig continuously until they reach the tank uh we'd probably end up having some of these wasted so if i go here and now they've started reaching the tank so i lift that one up and you can see the tank is still filling up as the machine empties out potatoes now this does seem realistic so I'm not complaining about it from that kind of uh, viewpoint, but my issue is that it is a little bit difficult to judge sometimes. Now, I know that also is, is a realistic thing, because, you know, as the operator of this machine, it would be my duty to make sure that such a thing doesn't happen. When you're using massive quantities of potatoes like we are here, though, such a thing is not really going to be an issue. Um... It's never really going to be a problem for anybody. Not not on, on the scale of things that we've got right here. I'm just going to stop that one there a second. And I'm going to go to the tractor. See, this way, when I'm facing the wrong way round, it's fine. But I, I really don't get 
it, I mean, is the potato harvester not... Uh, the way that it's set up, it, it is supposed to be unloaded as you go along. Like, the, the, I cannot imagine for one moment that it's not supposed to be unloaded as you go along. So I really don't understand why this is the way that it is. It, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I, I, I'm, I, I'm a confused individual on the whole potato overloader issue. It doesn't have much of a turning circle on it either. But unless I was able to put it on a different hitch somewhere. Right, I'm going to back you up there a second and then I'm going to... How are you doing over here? You have actually finished this job. Uh, we're going to need to roll that field. Let's have a look uh, there. Right, this was the only one that I was going to be planting this autumn, wasn't it? Everything else I was doing spring crops. I think I was going to be doing sunflowers and those two. And, well, I, I think that was going to be corn. So I did originally talk about that one being corn, but I don't think that's going to be corn now. So I think uh, maybe I just put oats in there somewhere, something like that, and not worry. But I think I was going to not worry about the pig food to start with, but we'll possibly want sunflowers in here somewhere. I can't actually remember what I said I was going to do. Uh, what I do need to do is that one and that one are going to need lime spread on them and field 22... Doesn't need rolling. Surprise, surprise. That really does surprise me. Quite sure why that one doesn't need rolling, but anyway, we, we won't worry about that. If it doesn't need rolling, it doesn't need rolling. This truck right here, I know that some of you are going to like this truck, and I know that some of you are going to absolutely hate it. And uh, I'm no doubt going to get some remarks about how it's not realistic. And that I would say, well, actually, it is completely realistic. There are hundreds of vehicles out there with bad paint jobs. Uh, we just happen to now have one. So that's... No, uh, I'm, I'm going to flat out say that, no, you are wrong. For anyone that says that this truck isn't realistic, I'm very sorry. I'm afraid it is completely realistic, at least with the paint job. Uh, the actual lorry itself, the, the, the axles, the, the wider bit on, on the bottom, I'm not sure. I think that is still realistic. I kind of wanted this one just because it had the option for the, the bad paint job, and I just wanted a bad paint job. Uh, I wanted to be able to do that. Right, what I'm also going to do is... Um, I'm going to shunt around, so... Yeah, that's useful, that is. Yeah, you, you go on. You, you just wedge yourself right in behind me. And you can see that I'm... You know what? Maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's my fault. How do you put the hazards on? Uh, number two on the keypad on the keyboard. So I got my hazards on. And I need to back into... Seriously? What is, what is with the traffic around here? And seriously, get out of the way, people. You can see we're busy. You can see what I'm trying to move. I don't know. People. There's people sometimes. Hmm. Um. <laughs> can... I'm going to get hopelessly stuck here, aren't I? I'm going to have to go like that and then and then try and bring it round. And let's just pretend that those people aren't there because, quite frankly, um, that's just ignorance. Okay, I'm going to have to bring that back up there. That that was really badly done. But, I mean, it's a very tight spot here. At least i got my hazards on. Right, I have got the hazards on. I, I feel I've been reasonable. Let's bring you all the way up there, and then, right, I'm going to stop there, and let's turn the hazards off, and we'll, we'll take the cover off like that. So I've got 58,000 litres of space in this bad boy, and I'm going to go over here, and this one is going to back round here. Is that high enough to reach? Oh, I can lift that one up a bit higher. Uh... Oh, it only has one option. You can't, like, bend the end bit on it. You wouldn't normally want to 
drop potatoes from too great a height. Uh, that wouldn't be good for the potatoes, dropping them in like that, but we don't have a lot of choice on, on, on this one. I can bring them down a bit. But that's why you would use the potato overloader, because the potato overloader can drop further down in and, and basically uh, place the potatoes in there rather than throwing them in like this one's doing. So there's reasons for using some of these different machines. It treats, it treats the the produce a bit better. Now can I... I'm going to have to move that tractor out of the way. In a minute. So let's move the tractor out of the way as well. Yeah, just good job I cut that tree down. That would have been right in our way here. Let's bring you back over there a second. And then I... Ooh, yeah, I'm straight on the tractor already. Uh, now I can... How do we unfold? Is it X? O for pipe out. Alright, that goes out there. And then... Ah! Right, so you can lower it right in like that. But that is as high as it will go. I can't raise it any further than that. Which I'm hoping is not going to be a problem for us. Let's bring you on round. No, 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 that's all right. So you, you bring that in like that. But what you'd actually do with this in real life is it, it wouldn't be overloading right now. You'd bring it right in tight and you would lower that down like that and, and, and basically um, drop the potatoes in a lot more gently than it's doing here. So I can run up here and then we can drop these potatoes in there. I've got two loads in here, 22,000 litres each, which means that that vehicle, we've got 44, we've got 45,000 litres in there out of 58, so he's, he's almost full. Turn you off. Right. There's that bit done. Now I can come up here. And I'm going to lower that one down. And we're going to head off around the field this wise direction. I reckon twice more around the outside edge of the field will give us enough room to be able to start doing the land work with the hired help. I reckon that will probably do about there. That's going to be just about a complete full tank by the time it stops running in. So I'm going to actually bring that back round here so that it drops into this one. And then that one is there anything else that happens with this one? Like, does it lift? Maybe not. I thought that maybe it, like, lifted up in the air or something when it was unloading, something like that. But it doesn't actually look like it's got anything like that on it. Um, I have seen potato overloaders that lift right up on the end so that they don't uh, lift them up very high. And that does actually look really, really cool. So I'm going to go on round again. I don't actually think there's enough room yet to properly turn round. So I believe we're going to have to do another little jaunt around the field. We're getting there, though. I think that... Yeah, I think that we might have enough room to turn round with this after we've done this pass. I'm going to work the fields. Well, I'm going to work the field that way, up and down, the, the same direction that the rows of the potatoes are actually put into the fields. I just feel that that was, is going to be the better option. Um, so we'll start right up at that side and we'll work down to... Actually, I don't know if I will. I don't quite know yet. I haven't fully decided how I'm going to do this. Possibly we will work the field from the bottom end there and, and we'll, we'll kind of like just, just play it by ear as we go along so I mean what I could do is if I just move up the field on this side and then back down again uh, it's giving me a little bit more room to do stuff and then I can start leaving the hired help to do uh, like just go backwards and forwards across the field that might actually be a better option 
and then we work up the field and that way we've got room around the gateway instead of just leaving the gateway as it is that seems like a much more sensible idea uh, 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 idea a uh, sensible option S sensible something I know it is a little bit unusual that I'm doing anything sensible even remotely sensible but you know it does happen sometimes occasionally I do get an idea that is entirely my own and, and not like Senlea's idea or something like that and 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 it, it, it is a good one and this might be one of those times might I said might right I've also got to be careful because this machine we need to make sure that we get the maximum out of it I want it out of the fields as quickly as possible because it's going to cost us an absolute fortune it's already cost us a fortune and it will continue to do so so we're going to because not only have we got to pay for this one we've then got to pay for a forager now I'm actually thinking that the forage harvester might be something that we end up buying and keeping but I'm not entirely sure on that one um, something that I haven't tested yet is a wheel loader and whether or not we can even use a wheel loader on the map because I know there's at least one map where I couldn't I couldn't um, uh, it, it just won't let me use the the crowd function of the tilting the main not that I can lift the main arm up and down but I can't tilt buckets backwards and forwards for some reason on a wheel loader and I've got no idea why I do remember someone else telling me that they had that exact same issue and they could find no cure for it they had no idea why it was doing that they just don't use wheel loaders so if anyone has got any idea I'm begging you please let me know in the comment section it, it would make such a big difference and um, I, I, I will actually get a wheel loader in a bit I think and, and we'll test that one out because I would like to have a wheel loader on the farm if, if we can have one that that would be absolutely great but it's wheel loaders telehandlers do work I've just got to do the, the whole weird thing with having to turn the easy arm controls on and then off again so somewhere in the thousands of mods that I have for this game there is one that is a little bit hinky and is doing something a wee bit odd and I would like to know why it is doing something a wee bit odd and hinky. I don't like it. I don't think it should be. But yes, well, unfortunately, that's just how it is. Right, what I think we're going to do here, so I'm going to lift that one up. I'll just turn the machine off a second and we'll go here. I'm going to go and I'm going to do another similar run up on the other side of the field because I think that we could do with the route. But I'm going to bring this one back here first, and then I'm going to switch to this tractor. I need to turn it on so that it will overload. And then we can overload here, and the potatoes will overload into us. And we will fill that trailer all the way up to the very brim with potato poes. There we go. That one's filled, and that's going to fill us all the rest of the way up. That's everything in here. I'll turn that one off and then I will go to not that one I'll go to this one we'll move on I should be all right along the bottom end of the field I just want to do a pass up this side and turn around and come back down again and then I think we're all right to let the hired help carry on I've been up and coming back so we've got now a wider area on this end of the field as well so as soon as I get here we can then there we go right so now in theory if I set the hired help going along here we should have enough room for them to just go along and harvest all of these potatoes I go right there, hired help, off you go. Is that lined up? Ooh, wait, I'm not sure that was lined up. I think. Yeah, I'm not quite sure with the hired help, the line that they take. Well, that seems to actually that seems to be alright. Alright. And there we go. Right. He's going to drive there. He should go to the end of the field. What I'm curious about is whether or not he's going to be able to turn round. 
He's going to lift there. And go on forward. And he's going to drop it down again. Right there. And then he'll go up there. Is he going to be able to turn round with the machinery in the way? And the other thing. With the hired help, they will run until the tank is full. And then they will stop and lift out. Which means that you lose up to a thousand litres of potatoes, potentially. I thought he was actually going to drive into it. So, you know, credit where it's due. At least he didn't do that. Now, how... If I uh, do spout in, is it going to fold? Oh, no, it lifts up. Excellent. I was a bit concerned that it might drop down as it sort of tried to unfold and I really didn't want it to do that. Uh, I've got 22,000 litres on here so I really don't have very much space but I can take just a few potatoes out of there a minute and he tried to drive forward because of this one driving underneath it and it basically thought oh yeah I'm full oh wait no maybe not um I can't go anywhere because there's the other thing. So I'm just going to leave the tractor there a second. And then I want to switch to this one. And we need to take this back to the yard. Our very first load. So I'm just going to bring it out a little tiny bit. Yeah, you stop right there, mate. What's it going to do with the potato harvester? Is it going to be able to turn around and carry on across the field? Okay, it looks like he's going to be all right. So we will rush out here I think I'd have preferred a six wheel lorry to be honest hmm, I'm not sure about our choice of lorry here really it seems a little bit kind of excessively wiggly can I use the shortcut All right. He's doing that bit all right. Well, he was. The sound on this sounds really muffled. It does, doesn't it? Is it it's not just me. That that does sound kind of like weird and muffled and also he he seems to be bouncing around a lot. I'm not sure if that's the truck itself or if that's the trailer that's causing that but it doesn't seem to be quite right I am actually seriously considering changing this truck to a different one um, so those of you who don't like the paint job might be quite glad of that if I do that it's because the mod is not quite shaping up to be what I was hoping and therefore I will refund all of the money I'll just um, make sure that I've got right that's manure in there where's the potatoes uh, actually, I think they're down over the other side. Yeah, they're over the other side, down there. All right, we've got sugar beet warehouse. We've got a potato warehouse over there. Um, so I'm going to run down. So that's just on down the road. We don't actually need to be coming in here. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. All right, you know what? Yeah, I, I don't like that at all. I, I really, I really, really don't like that. Some of the rest of it, I'm sure, is absolutely fine. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just not on board with, with that one. I, I don't like that. So I'm going to change it over a second. Okay. I got rid of the other one. And I've gotten this one. That sounds better. Doesn't sound like it's muffled. This is just the base game one. I have coloured it. I've, It's a, an ex-JCB one. That's why it's the JCB yellow. Is because they used to use it in the JCB... Um, yeah, well, uh, uh, it was a JCB dealership that they used it for, for various different things. Um, so we got it reasonably, well, I say reasonably cheap. It's still 130,000 euros, but some of the other trucks there are nearly 100,000 more than that. So I think 130,000 is, is quite reasonable. We got a trailer hitch on the back. Uh, we, we got everything that we could possibly want with a lorry. 
Uh, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. We'll be able to use this in the field and we can also use it for like shunting around the yard and making deliveries. And we are using quite a lot of bulky materials, so making deliveries is going to be rather important to us. Uh, the other thing that should be noted is that... Oh, wait, one more thing. With a wheel loader... Um, well, with any other loader, I have to go to easy arm controls, and this also includes cranes and the tree harvesters. I have to turn it off and turn it on again. I just have to do that, and then it works. And I have to do that every time I get in a vehicle. I have not been able to find out what mod makes me have to do that, and so far, nobody else has had any idea either. Okay, for some reason, this does actually work. I've done it before and the wheel loader didn't work, but it is at least working on this one. Uh, but I still got to go to the easy arm controls, turn it off and on and, and then do it. I just leased this one, so I'm going to just inch that forward there and I'm going to return it because I just wanted to test it to see if we could actually do that or not. Let's see whether it was a thing. Um, turns out that it's okay. We will be able to do that. So if I just return that one, yes, okay. Um, so in order to just quickly double check that one and make sure that we are going to be able to use wheel loaders on here, plus the bit with the mod that wasn't sitting right, that was that the sound was all muffled. I, I didn't like the feel of that mod at all. So that I got rid of because it was a damaged mod and not a damaged machine. Uh, I will need to add 20,000 euros back into it. It's actually 19,779, and I will be precise with that. I will add back in the correct amount. Um, so I want to bring this one in here. Uh, which one is the Tatey Pose? I'm going to go up here. The Tatey Pose is the one right on the very end. So we can come around here, and we'll have to tip it in. So I'll drive you on round this way. That's where we take them out, and that's where we tip them in. So if I drive up here... Oh, right, so we don't actually have to get very close at all. We can just tip them straight in. I'm quite pleased about that. Gives us a bit of sound there for, for dropping them in. Uh, is there a visual anywhere? There is a little tiny bit of a visual there at the back. I don't know. Ah, potato warehouse. Use capacity 58,000. Total 1 million litres. So we can put a million litres in here. That's fantastic. We've got a nice bit of room for manoeuvring around this yard as well, which is great. I like that. And then we can come back up around here and we will race off back down to the potato po field. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull in here off the side a second and I'm going to jump down here to this tractor oh actually the tractor's full so it doesn't really matter right fine let's go back nope let's go to you and we'll run you back down to the field as soon as I've gotten down to the field I will pull up alongside the potato harvester and we'll unload that one Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.